Hi Cancer, I hope you guys are all doing really, really well. So this is going to be your general love reading for September 2022 for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Cancer. And it is a general reading, so it's not going to be everybody's situation. That is perfectly okay. If you would like a personal reading, you can find all that information in the description box below this video. And also keep in mind that the roles can be reversed in this particular reading because it is general. All right, Cancer, let's see what is going on with you in a love connection in September 2022. All right, for the situation, we have the Ace of Pentacles crossed by the High Priestess. Okay, so it does feel like um, the path is open. There's an open path. It's like there's this potential for something to really manifest here in the 3D. Um, but I feel like somebody is either not really tuning into their intuition. It's like their intuition is there. It's speaking to them. Um, but, but this person is not really following it or is not very sure of it and possibly is also keeping a little bit quiet in this particular case. We'll see more when we clarify. Um, for your energy, we have the Six of Swords, the Empress, and the Nine of Cups. Um, okay, so it's like you're, either you are currently or you have been trying to move away from an energy that was painful for you. And I actually see you succeeding at that. Like you are distancing yourself in some way from whatever it is that was causing pain for you or that was creating some conflict. Um, and I feel like you're, you're just really moving towards bringing into your life whatever it is that you desire, whatever it is that you want. I see you possibly um, craving something, but at the same time, I feel like Whatever it is that you're craving, it's coming in. Let's see what's going on with another person here. We have the moon, temperance, and the three of pentacles. Okay, so um, some of you might be dealing with a... With a <laughs> I don't know why I just lost my words there. With a Pisces. Um, and others of you might be dealing with a Sagittarius. Of course, you could be dealing with any sign. These are just the two that are showing up right now. Okay, so this other person, I feel like they were, um, during the time period where you were feeling this pain and, and it's like you're moving away or distancing yourself, um, it's like this person has either been going through some weird cycles, that's what I'm getting with this moon card um, right now, um, some cycles where they go from possibly even like alternating extremes. So it could be like very hot and then very cold. It doesn't have to be that. It just feels like some extremes, like black and white. Um, trusting this and then being very distrustful, for example. So it could be in terms of anything here. I do see them though moving more towards balancing that out. So it's like they're jumping from one extreme to the other and I do see that the difference there um, lessening, like like the difference is decreasing that range. And so they're coming more into like something that is more, more stable. And I see them moving towards wanting some kind of either interaction with you or to figure something out together. Let's see the potential outcome here. We have the Four of Cups. Um, We'll see when we clarify what that's about, but I feel like, you know, somebody is going to be a little bit disappointed. I don't see that being you because I see you being in this Nine of Cups energy um, where that's really, really positive. So it could be that the other person might be feeling a little um, discouraged or disappointed by you, you know, and your energy being so positive here. We'll see. Again, keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. Okay. And yeah, it, and it doesn't matter if you're cross-watching, all right? It, it could still be reversed. Um, let's see. Let's clarify that Ace of Pentacles with the High Priestess. Okay. And we have the Two of Swords, the Page of Wands. And let me just get one more. 
All right, and we have the Queen of Wands. All right. So, um, yeah, there's there's this potential here. That's the thing. It's like there is a big potential, but I feel like at the moment there's something that the two of you are not agreeing on or don't you don't see something in exactly the same way. It's like somebody is kind of blocking out the fact that, hey, you know, the path is open. Like there's something here. There's this there's this potential. And I feel like it's um, one of those things where like it can start and then it like either stops. I don't know, but it's like it's definitely here. And not only that, there's a lot of there's a lot of desire here. All right, I feel like whoever is in the feminine energy, you know, that person is very, very desired by the other person in this scenario um, with that Queen of Wands. So very interesting. It's, we'll see. Let's see the Six of Swords for your energy. The Nine of Wands and the Five of Wands. Yeah, you're moving away from something that um, apparently felt like it was dragging on for much longer than you would have wanted it to. And like I said, it was creating a lot of conflict for you. So I'm glad to see that you're moving away from that. Um, it, it could have even created a lot of drama in some way, either between the two of you or possibly even involving other, other people for some of you. So... And I feel like it's also, it's not something easy, it's like something that you actually are putting a lot of effort into, or already have put a lot of effort into, both into this connection, but as well as distancing yourself from it or healing something from the past here. That was very, very conflicting and possibly even, um, possibly even creating arguments um, between the two of you. For those of you who were in contact recently. All right, let's see the Empress. The Two of Wands and the Five of Swords. Hmm. This is interesting. I feel like you have, you, you, you even have more of this Empress energy in you that you have not even reached just yet. Um... It's almost coming in as like you, like there's a part of you kind of holding yourself back. Almost thinking like, yeah, you know, just in case, maybe this isn't done just yet. So I, maybe that's why, um, it doesn't have to be that, but it does feel like there's a part of you holding, holding yourself back from completely like reaching your full potential here, possibly because you're thinking about you know, the fact that it just feels like this is, this could have been something so good or that it still can or something along those lines. Um, ultimately though, I do feel like you're putting yourself first and that you're trying to do whatever it is that is best, best for you. Kind of like, you know, just thinking about you right now and not worrying so much about the effects on the other person or how anyone else is going to feel, but only, only for yourself. And that's actually good, but there's a part of you holding that. Um, let's see the Nine of Cups. The Ace of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles. You're, again, this is something very, very positive for you that is coming in. Um, it could be this person for some of you. I don't, I actually don't think that it is at this time, to be honest. Um... I don't, I don't see the, the situation with this person being necessarily closed either, but I feel like this is something new that is coming in for you, something that is very, very secure, something that is very, very stable, and something that is also exciting, and you are going to feel good about it. So is it another love relationship? Maybe. Is it um, just something else that is showing up and you know, you're just feeling good about yourself with whatever this energy is? Could be that as well. Whatever it is, it's just looking very, very positive for you. So I feel like the message for you here really is to just, you know, don't hold yourself back. Don't hold yourself back from being this empress, right? Allow yourself to create. Allow yourself to move forward. Allow yourself to fully be who you are and to continue progressing to, to the best version of yourself. Don't, don't let anything hold you back from that. It's bringing in beautiful things. Um, all right, let's 
Let's take a look at the other person here. Let's see this moon. All right, and we have ooh, the emperor. Both the empress and the emperor are showing up here. Uh, the emperor and the eight of cups. Okay, so this is actually, um, this could be pretty positive here in the sense that I do see that this person is moving away from that strange distorted energy that they have been in, right? That those extremes. Um, I do get that when they are in that kind of an energy, like it's, it's very, very extreme. I feel like they can go from being 100% um, there and then just possibly feeling very detached um, or just seeming that way. Um, I, I do feel like they're moving away from that energy. Whatever, it, it's like this person may have had some, some like distorted perceptions or some distorted ideas. Um, especially in terms of their own self and their own um, confidence. Or at least that's what, what it was rooted in. I don't know how it may have portrayed on the outside. Um, but because of that, because of these distortions, whatever they are, you know, I feel like they were trying to just kind of detach themselves from the situation. All right, let's see temperance. The Knight of Swords and the King of Swords. Again, <laughs> yeah, this extreme, this extreme kind of energy is showing up again. So this is what they've been struggling with within their own self. I feel like it, there's almost like this, um, I kind of want to say arrogant vibe to them that maybe um, comes up once in a while when they're functioning at that one extreme. Um, and they could go, I mean, they could even fluctuate from being very rational to being very irrational. So that's why like this is so confusing because it's like, you know, you feel like that potential is there because you've seen the rational side of them. And then sometimes they have this very irrational side. So then it's like, what the hell is going on? Um, and it's all a matter of this person balancing that out. Hmm. And like I said, I do see them moving in that direction. Let's see that three of pentacles. The ace of pentacles and the ten of swords. Yeah, see, so there's that potential showing up again. That's what they're that's what they're moving towards. They're moving towards wanting this this ace of pentacles, this potential, right? Wanting to figure things out with you, wanting to make things work, wanting to come to some kind of an agreement, um, something that you can both agree on or deal with, or you know whatever it is. It's like they're coming in with this intention. Um, but with the ten of swords though being here, I feel like what I was said in the beginning that they're the ones who are <laughs> that four of cups is out of the camera view. I am sorry about that. Um, so what I was saying in the beginning about this Four of Cups is that somebody is disappointed and I feel like it's them. Um, because I feel like, you know, you're, you're feeling good. You're, you're moving towards feeling really, really good about your, your new path here. And yeah, they're coming in and feeling this energy from you and just feeling that disappointment. But let's say, let me clarify that Four of Cups. And of course, I mean, if you ever want want this it feels like it's there like this opportunity is there um, because this person does seem like they're willing to work it out but if you've moved on you've moved on let's see four of cups please for the potential outcome the six of cups the king of cups and the two of pentacles <laughs> Oh, all right, yeah. Um, there's definitely a potential here for a reconnection. Um, I do feel like this person is coming in with genuine intentions, but what I also do get is that 
it's still not it's not easy all right it's still it's still not an easy connection so it's really up to you um, what you want to do with it but I'm getting that yeah it, it, it has its it has its struggles especially in terms of finding balance although I do see this person um, moving in that direction and and having the intentions at least to reconnect and to make it work and to do their part and to balance themselves out but I <clears throat> I do get that it will be, um, it's not just going to be that easy. So it's, it's improvement is what it is. All right, Cancer, let's see if this resonated, let's get a final message for you. Just anything that wants to come through for you. And we have intention. <laughs> be clear and decisive, focus on what you really want, be bold with your requests to the universe. So yes, take this message for you however it resonates for you, okay? Um, but also, this is like an extra message for what I was just saying, all right? Um, that this person's intentions are there. But having intentions and then actually going through with them, those are two totally different things, so it's up to you. All right, Cancer, those were your messages. I thank you so much for watching. Much love.